Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is June the 4th, 2022. We're going to talk about Algorand today. Algo, can this cryptocurrency explode 30%? I'm going to try to answer that question today by just simply looking at the price chart. So everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to all of my day ones, let me go, go ahead and do a quick shout out. Say I appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who values the content that I've created because I really want to show people that you don't have to be bogged down in a whole lot of research. You don't have to implement no technical analysis. You don't even have to use technical indicators to try to figure out where price is going to go. You just need to look at price and volume. So everyone who is new, go ahead and tap in. Yeah, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to my channel because I do nothing but price predictions. I'm not here to give you all a lot of hype, FUD, and FOMO because I understand that that's how people become misled and they end up losing in the market. And then they say that the whole market is a sham and it's made to be manipulated and you can't never win. And that's not the case. You, you can actually win in the cryptocurrency markets. So go ahead and join me to those who are new. Now, real quick, I did a video in Algorand not that long ago on the 28th of May, right? And I was playing the weakness into the market in Algorand, meaning I'm looking for the market to go down. I've already got the price predictions on the chart. You guys can see it's right here in front of you as to what I am expecting. Now, if I'm gonna come through and do a video looking for Algorand go 30%, I may need to cut this price prediction that I have on right now and play the long side, meaning looking for the market to go up, all right? I need to do that. So I wanted to come in and speak to you all about what I'm noticing because if I'm not noticing anything different, I'm gonna to continue to go on with the market going down in Algorand. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of price targets, I mean price charts real quick. This is the two day. OK, so here we are. We're looking at Algorand on a two day price chart. Every price bar that you see is two days worth of price action. Now, we all can tell visually the market in Algorand is in a downtrend. It is. We have to face the facts. We face the facts. We won't be misled. We all can visibly tell that Algorand is in a massive downtrend. So that is still the current environment. We need to understand that that is the environment. If you're looking to buy Algorand, you should not be in a rush because this market is not trending higher. It's trending lower. Now, right here, this is the two day price bar to where we should have seen the buyers in Algorand continue to lift its price because of what happened on this market. On this two day price bar, the market in Algorand should have continued its bullishness, but it didn't. It came right back down so there wasn't no follow through so this tells me that the overall demand in the market in algorand is not here yet so that goes for one in the camp for us continuing to look for the market to go down this is algorand on the three day and again you guys can see that we're not getting the follow through the follow through in algorand should have occurred right here to where the arrow is pointing down to we're not getting that this is it on the five day and again right here we should have seen the market in Algorand follow through every time frame that I'm showing you, whether it's from the two day, the three day or the five day time frame. We are not seeing the market in Algorand follow through. We're not. The market is coming right back down to where we started on this last completed five day price bar. Take a look. That should not have happened if the market is truly strong. If the buyers were really in control, we would not be trading all the way back towards the lows to where we were five days ago. It would not be here, but it is. So that shows us that there's still some weakness into the market here in Algorand. So what do you think about their chance of us seeing the market in Algorand go up 30% now? Look at this. This is it on the weekly chart. We're still seeing the weakness into the market in Algorand right now. Now, let me give you all this because I'm not the bearer of bad news. If I'm still looking for the market to go down, then hey, I am. But I'm not really seeing anything dramatic. OK, I'm not looking at nothing terrible, like a 90 percent crash into the market over the next couple of days. Right. I'm not looking at nothing like that. But we have to recognize this chart is not showing us any strength yet. It's not. Look at this on a three weekly price chart, like right here. Look at that last completed one a massively widespread down on high volume. That simply means that there's still a lot more selling going on in the market in Algorand. So can we see the market in Algorand go 30 percent as of right now? My answer would be no. I don't see it 
happening right now on the charts okay look at this on the monthly like this is what happened last month in algorand we started out the month in may i mean we moved up good like the market was able to trade all the way up there towards 78 cents fantastic move right but then we ended the month down on the close at 41 cents that tells you again most of the market action is selling or at least people ain't trying to buy it so if the overall market is not trying to buy this currency why in the world would we want to i'm just saying it doesn't make any sense we'll wait until the market switches its consensus and then we'll start buying when they start buying and as of right now the these charts ain't showing it did you see the five monthly chart let me go ahead and show you all the five monthly chart first i want to show you all that one too look at that one this is the last five months price bar in algorand it looks like the market in algorand is going to be making all-time lows over the next five months yes i'm saying it right now that algorand could make all-time lows over the next five months because this five monthly price bar is emphatically weakness the only way that we can not see algorand make all-time lows over the next five months is if the market makes a massive recovery and begins to move up higher to where we are at right now to where i have my horizontal line the market in algorand if it maintains this 30 cent price then the market may not make all-time lows i'll drop that in right now too I'll, I'll give you all that okay but overall i'm going to continue to go on with my price prediction and look for the market in algorand to dip i didn't say crash i didn't say plummet i said dip all right that's it i'm looking for the market to go down now you have to go back and listen to my last video uh which was on the 28th of may to see where my price targets are at i think one of them may be right there around 30 cents though okay 30 cents we're not there yet the market is taking a sweet time to move down to that 30 cent level but we're still on course to see that happen in my opinion yours is up now what is your opinion what do you think the market in algorand is going to do over the next couple of weeks so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to extend out my price prediction to give the market time to play okay give it time to move now 30 cent run up you guys can see it it still brings us into my price target right yeah we can see the market in algorand run up to 48 cents but it doesn't mean that my price prediction is invalidated and that is wrong or that is incorrect it doesn't mean that it just simply means that you need to be taking a probability at 30 cents. I mean, at 30%. But the trend hasn't changed yet, y'all. Still here. So let's do it. I've given you all my perceptions, my thoughts, my opinions about Algorand and where I think the market is still going to go, especially in the long term. Now it's your turn. I want to know what do you all think? Where are we about to go in Algorand? Are we going to go up 30%? Or are we going to go down 30%? Let me know. Make sure you maintain the probability. And as always, trade different.